Good evening, Michelle Humes, your pucker up gal. I know it's late Monday night. Time to wash this off, even though it's been on all day and <laughs> I hate to take it off. I really do. I love my makeup. Um, but every night before you go to bed, you should wash your face. You should really wash your face. Ladies and gentlemen, actually guys, you too. Not just the ladies, guys too. Say hello when you get on. This is probably something you don't know. Um, if you go to bed with your makeup on and you don't wash your face, it's probably the reason why you are ending up with pimples, clogged pores, that new wrinkle that you might be getting on the side of your eye, or your mouth. Um, you're aging seven times faster than someone who does wash their face. And I wish I would have known this a long time ago. I'm in my late 40s now. So I wish I would have known this when I was in my 20s because I definitely would have taken care of my skin um, more than I did. So I'm doing this video just to, um, so you guys can see what my skin looks like from not taking care of it for so many years. So I'm, I'm right now, I'm actually in the process of trying to reverse the damage that I've done, um, by, you know, being in the sun too much and, um, not taking care of my skin. So hi, everybody. Good evening, ladies. Hi, Karen. Hi, Glory. How are you guys? How you doing? So I'm going to go ahead and remove, um, I use my cloth to remove some of the makeup first. It's just really important to take care of your skin. Um, there's, you know, a lot of reasons behind it and you end up having actually a Every day you shed like 40,000 dead skin cells. Did you know that? And they just fall everywhere. So those dead skin cells have to go. <laughs> and that's a lot. 40,000 dead skin cells on, on your face, your body, your whole body actually. Hi, Leslie. Um... So you want to take care of your skin. It's the largest organ that you have. I wish someone had told me this like 20 years ago that I should be taking care of my skin. Um, and I probably, I probably wouldn't have so many skin issues today if I had started when I was younger. So anyways, I'm going to actually exfoliate a little bit first. Getting ready for a va Ooh, vacation. Yay. Where are you going? Where are you going on vacation? Where are you headed to? You going to a beach? Hi, Lauren. Hi ladies, good evening. Right now I'm using um, a body exfoliator, but I'm using it on my face. I'm only using a very little bit. Um, as long as you don't put it near your eyes, you should be fine. It suds, it doesn't sud, it just kind of gets grainy. It's got walnut shell powder, so it works really good to get all that um, those dead skin cells off of your face. And when you exfoliate, it actually increases the blood flow, um, to your skin and it will help to reduce 
the line, you know, wrinkles and fine lines that you might have already gotten um, when you exfoliate. You're basically helping your skin rejuvenate back to health. Just get back to health. Oh, happy anniversary. That's awesome. 20 years. Congratulations. Hi, Lauren. How you feeling? Oh, yeah, definitely. Go see Tammy. I would love to see a photo of you guys together. So now I'm just getting, I'm just rinsing that off. I'm lightly, I'm like lightly just getting that off my face. Um, so how long are you going um, to be on vacation for? Oh, I feel so bad. Poor Lauren. Y'all, she hasn't been doing too good. She, um, I'm not going to say her personal business, but just say some prayers for her to, you know, recuperate. I can already feel a difference on my face, on my skin. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And I I would never do this a lot. I, like, I would never even post a photo. I'm going to wash my face now. Um, I would never even post a photo with my bare skin. But I tell you what. I've noticed since, since exfoliating and cleaning at my face every night... This, oh man, I've got to find the photo for you guys. Um, my skin from sun damage, I had, this was very dark. Like really, like the dark wood, this dark right here, the wood color. That's how dark that was, right? That was like a raccoon. I'm not kidding. And you can still see it a little bit over here. Right here. It's actually helping to fade that and to bring my skin tone Back to how it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh. You just not. You, Leslie, you too? Oh my god, girl. Is anybody there to help you? Kids will be good hands, definitely be able to relax. Oh, it's just you and your husband, Glory. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Prayers for Leslie and Lauren, y'all. I mean, I know they have two different things going on. So you want to exfoliate? I'm not ignoring y'all. Go ahead, you can talk. <laughs> exfoliate. Clean your face. Look really good. Clean your face. Don't ever go to bed without cleaning your face because, and it doesn't take long, you'll feel good afterwards knowing that your skin has been taken care of. When I'm done with this, I'm going to hop in the bath and do my body. Um, so then I put on my moisturizer. Very important. You want to use moisturizer. I do a couple of couple of squirts of that not a lot and because my skin is actually nice and balanced now um, a little bit goes a long way my skin's not sucking it on in um, it's actually look at look at this it's like when I first started using this I had to use a lot it was like immediately being soaked into my my skin my my, my face was like screaming for moisture, it was so dry. Right? <laughs> We're gonna get there. We're gonna be on vacation, that's for sure. <laughs> then I use um, another cream which lighten, tightens, and brightens. I have been using this on the areas that are really dark. I just put that on and let it soak in. It's helped a lot to decrease that dark areas that I have um, from basically it's from 
being in the sun. I, I used to live at the beach. I used to live at the beach in my 20s. My teen years and my 20s. Now I'm going to use a face oil. Um, I know it seems like a lot, but these steps really do make a difference. <laughs> um, but I used to go to the beach all the time and lay directly in the sun on the sand. And I used to put straight up vegetable oil on my skin to get a tan. Like, because I get... I get dark like this. This is how dark I get. I'm Portuguese, so I get really dark. And I did, I basically, by the time I hit 36, um, when I would go and tan, it would leave dark spots, like dark blotches on my face. And winter time would come and my skin would lighten up, those dark spots stayed there. It's like, it was like a permanent tattoo without being, without asking for a tattoo. Um, so now I don't sunbathe. I don't go out and sit in the sun. If I do, I put sunscreen on and a hat. Um, but you can see, I mean, if I had to get a photo of, a photo of my face from last year, this, it's almost the same color now. I'm so happy with um, my skin care routine because this was so dark. It was unbelievably dark and so embarrassing. I would never, I, would, I wouldn't go without, without covering it up and just plopping on a bunch of makeup all the time. There was no way I was going to take a photo without makeup on. And now... Now, I don't care now because it's not that bad. It's very, very light. That's the, that's from my, my washcloth. It's got little fuzzy things. The heck is that? <laughs> oh, what did I miss about chicken? Hang on a second now. I missed something about chicken, I think. <laughs> Y'all talking about chicken. Who's talking about chicken? You're making me hungry. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Glory. Oh. oh, you mean being in the sun? Yeah, I was like a rotisserie chicken. I'd lay on my back and tan for about 30 minutes and flop right over and do my backside and flop right back over, do my front side again. I was dark. I mean, you could not tell. People were like, you're not white. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm really dark. <laughs> yeah. We're actually going to be coming out with, um, I'm not sure when, I don't know what date, but I heard they were coming out with a, um, an all-natural sunscreen. I can't wait to get that. And we do have the daily bronzing um, lotion. I will be using that. If I want to have a tan this year, I will be using a daily bronzer um, and just wash it off at the end of the night. I'm not going to sit in the sun and try to get tan because I'll, I'll end up having all that darkness again. So, I used a very little bit. I exfoliated really quick, washed my face, put my moisturizer on, and my face oil. The face oil is very important because it helps um, bring back that collagen that you might be missing. So... As we get older, the older ladies, when we get older, our collagen um, doesn't produce as good as it used to when we were younger. So the face oil actually helps stimulate that back, like it brings it back. So if you massage a face oil like this right here, I forgot to do that. I'm going to do that now since now this is kind of dry. Um, I, this, I, I can't... <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Okay, one drop. This is a dropper, so I'm just going to put a little right here um, for that collagen area because my wrinkles used to be, oh my goodness. Um, but anyways, this a face oil that has an antioxidant in it is really good to stimulate that collagen back. And that's how you reduce the wrinkles that you have. You can reverse them. You can. It takes time. This isn't like an overnight miracle. 
This isn't like that video you see floating around where you put the cream on and then they fan you with a fan and then all of a sudden your wrinkles disappear. This doesn't, this isn't, no, this isn't a temporary thing. This is a permanent reversal, reversal thing that you are trying to do. So, don't go to bed without washing your face. Oh, thank you, Glory. Oh, go rest up, Leslie. Have a good night, ladies. I'm done anyways. I just wanted to come on and tell y'all that it's a proven fact that you age seven times faster than anybody else if you do not wash your face before you go to bed. So wash your faces. Have a good night, and if you have any questions, message me anytime. Bye, y'all.